Okay, welcome to this tutorial video on how to create a bootable installation USB stick for to install XCPNG on a physical server. Um, I'm going to start to open a browser. I'm going to Google search search page XCPNG. And here you see that there is an installation link. Uh, the link is xcpng.org. If you want to go to the page, the starting page, installation will set you to a page where you can find the ISO to download. That's the ISO that we're going to use. So we click on it, it's start, starting to download here at the bottom. With this ISO, we will create our bootable USB stick. For this, we need a software because we are doing it. I'm doing it from Windows 10. I'm using the software Win32 Disk Imager. When you open the software, it begins like this. Okay. To find the software, Okay, I'm going to put this aside. Oop, Google again. Um, I have already typed it, Win32 Disk Imager. I use this link, Win32 Disk Imager Download. Latest stable version. If you click on it, page is opened. Download page here. If you go to the bottom, there is a button with download Win32 Disk Imager. I've already done it and installed it, but I will put all the links used down in the video. Okay, I'm still busy with downloading the ISO. Um, I've chosen to use XCPNG because it's a spin-off of um, the Citrix version, it is based on Xen server, it is open source. Um, there it, it's uh, very powerful. Um, and it installs almost on every system that I've already used. Um, no complications, only inserting the USB boot starting up from it and starting the installation but that's that's uh, for another video okay it's he has finished downloading we will close the browser and I'm pulling again the application to create the usb stick i'm going to browse to the file here we have to choose star.star .star, otherwise we will not see the ISO uh, file click on it open F is the USB stick always I always like to check this so I'm going to file explorer okay and here you see USB disk F Putting it back and closing it. Um, okay, I rewrite it. You have to click yes. Uh, he's asking you if you are sure to overwrite uh, the USB stick because it will erase all what's on it. So the process is started. When it's at the end, You will have your bootable uh, disk, a uh, USB stick, and you can install multiple hosts from it. Um, it's best to keep the USB stick and to always use the same version to install on your different hosts that you want to use. In my case, I'm only using one, so I'm not keeping USB stick, but you can always see the version that you have installed. 
uh, in the opening uh, window of uh, of your uh, XCPNG host but that we will see when we have installed the XMPNG uh, host and we will look and have a deeper dive in how to configure uh, virtual machines and like, how to set up virtual machines and, and other things that we have to do to have a, an environment suited to create uh, virtual machines and to test because it's a home lab it will be used for testing okay exit Thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and hopefully we will see us again when we will install our first host and create our first virtual machines. Thank you for watching.